Right, so I want to share with you a couple of resources that I think will be really helpful for getting you ready for both your mock exams and your final exams in the summer next year. Um, three websites, two different ways of accessing the same data, the same information, but they're going to be really useful little tools you can use to help you with your revision and help you identify anything that you're not sure about. Because if you can identify an area you're not sure about, I can always help you to unpick what it is you don't understand and help you to learn what that topic is, okay? So the first one is this website here. It's called student.craigandave.org and I'll put a link to it in Google Classroom. Really important to note that these, these are videos, okay? They're videos that are specifically matched to the specification for J277 for OCR, which is the exams you'll be sitting. So it's these here, J277. And the way it's set up is really similar to how we've set up your folders. Every section, systems architecture, memory and storage, computer networks is broken down into its area. And every section has within it multiple videos now the videos aren't that long they're quite short to the point and cover the specific topic area that they talk about okay so that's a really useful resource also craig and dave have got a youtube channel with the same video specifications set up as playlists so you can access it through youtube or through craig and dave org okay and i will put both links into the google classroom for you the other thing i would recommend doing is to use Seneca. okay we've used Seneca before if you decide to use Seneca, all you need to do is go into it and where it says search for a course you need ocr computer science and again gcse it is set up in exactly the same way that we've laid out the course in school. So we've got systems architecture as 1.1, broken down into little subsections, all the way through networks and security, software issues, programming, data representation. So everything you need is here in Seneca. And all you need to do is click the start learning button and work your way through it. Do the assessments at the end of each section if you're getting things right, nothing to worry about. If there's something which keeps coming up that you're finding is a struggle, let me know and I'll be able to help you.